What's going on everybody, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, AMC is set to close its second week in a row, up 100% for all of you guys that have been rocking with me since early February, late January. Some of you guys are up five, six, seven, eight hundred percent, and we've still got some ways to go. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about the options chain like I has. It's very important for you guys to get a good understanding, and it's going to give you light on why the price is kind of stagnant today and the volume is a little bit lower. All right, so stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. For those of you who are new to the channel, all I ask is that you hit that like button and subscribe to join the family. Let's get rocking. First off, guys, let's just take a look of where we were at. This is just 10 days ago. I mean, rocking from a low of 12 all the way up to a high of 77. Pre-market, which yes, yesterday we got hammered with the offering. Told everybody we were going to quickly scoop it up as soon as they announced that the equity offering was over. It shot right back up. And we are looking to form this nice flag coming to an end. A few touch points on it right here. I want to talk about what is going on first before I get into the options volume. What is going on with this tweet by Ortex? A lot of people were asking me saying, oh, have they covered? Are they starting to cover? Well, let me just tell you this right here. It's like, a, like it says, their information is two days old. It's T plus two. So that means a small percentage, 14%, a very small percentage was covered two days ago. Well, let's look at what happened two days ago. It was on Wednesday after the insane 100% rip. Very understandable that there are going to be some shorts that do cover their precisions. However, I want to point this out to you guys that chances are some of these were new shorts that stepped in when it saw a little bit of the stabilization right here on the third dollar mark after it got rejected on the Friday on the previous Friday, okay, they might have stepped in and immediately were like, wait a minute, it, it's not going the other way, it's not hitting that resistance, it's ripping, and let me get out as quick as I can. Very, very practical. After what happened yesterday, I'm really uh, interested in seeing what Ortex reports for the for the um, for these days coming up next week. So keep that in mind, guys. Now let's talk about what is going on today. Volume is a little bit lower. We're kind of stagnating, and I want to point this out. It's very important for you guys to know this, okay? So normally on the beginning of the week, Mondays, Tuesdays especially, is when options volume is the highest. There's a lot of buying going on. That's when the market makers are really keen on hedging their positions. Now, for example, I have $15 calls. I have $14 calls that expire in January of 22 and January of 23. Right now, the market makers, in, and this is just in my opinion, because we'll never know because we're not behind their desks, but of all of my my research and understanding is that they're not yet quite hedging for those positions way out. If they didn't buy right away, they're not quite hedging for their positions because the time frame is so far extended. But what they will absolutely hedge for is what is set to expire in the coming days, okay, and or maybe a week or so. So that's why if you look at what happened on Wednesday after Monday, Tuesday, an insane amount of options buying coming in that's where you saw the gamma increase because the market makers really need to jump out and hedge their positions if you look at the open interest on some of these volume or uh, options that became in the money all the way deep into the 60s i mean it's an insane amount of contracts so what is set to happen for the next couple of weeks well first off guys even if you go and look at the charts we're starting to see a bit of stabilization so what does this mean for, for, for myself and for us, it means that there's not a lot of selling activity going on. Yesterday, was there selling? Yes, absolutely. When you can see your portfolio that dropped down, you know, you're down 10,000, 20,000, some guys down 100,000, 500,000, you're gonna think to yourself, you know what? I already have an insane run. Let me take some off the table. Is it gonna keep on going? There was some selling. If you look at what's going on today, because we don't know what is happening with the shorts from the Ortex reading, take a look and zoom in at these charts, guys. SSR was triggered, but look at this pop up, all right, which means you can short on the uptick. That's what the SSR rule means, short back down, pop up, short back down. As soon as they it wasn't able to get on that uptick and they couldn't short, look at it, it stabilized. It stayed right here. It stayed right here. There wasn't enough to be cause it. As soon as we got that good run, same thing kind of happened. And we're stabilizing. We're bouncing off. We bounced off this 48 line of support. Now we're bouncing off this 50, $51 support. And that's exactly what's happening. So when it comes to the selling pressure, it's not quite there. The market makers probably did do some de-hedging, which is normal because guys, like I've talked to you and told you guys about many times is when you're buying these options, yeah, it's cool to YOLO like this guy did on the $145 call option, which I believe was purchased for 
I want to say a dollar seventeen. I, I saw somewhere. However, it's worth three cents now. You YOLO into it. However, one, yeah, if you hit a home run, Jesus, it's going to be you know absolutely out of the park. But however, you're not giving yourself enough time, and therefore, if anything happens, there's just a de hedging, and you're forced to close your positions to try to save some form of value, which leads into the selling pressure. But when it comes to the stocks actually selling very very small guys very unlikely to happen what's also crazy too is you even go on here whether you're using a different brokerage a different platform that's fine just jump onto yahoo finance they do a good job the amount of option contracts are absolutely insane especially these ones really in that 60 70 dollar range for the next coming weeks which is awesome news for us because they really haven't started to populate too insane getting above that hundred dollar mark because then again guys that becomes that YOLO territory. Somebody's really buying these cheap options at 145, trying to swing for the fence. Go, you guys. I hope you absolutely crush it. But I also want to point this out too. And I was uh, nervous about this kind of kind of when I looked at it earlier this morning, but there's still an insane amount of options volume coming in with AMC. One of the issues that happened with GameStop, okay, which is very important for you guys to know, is that because the implied volatility got so high, these premiums just got so high. That it really really shifted people away from buying options a little bit of nervousness i i thought about that a little bit i was kind of ner a little nervous about it maybe nervous isn't the right word it was just a thought on my mind however as you can see guys here the volume is still number one crushing apple and tesla which are normally always number one and two you guys been watching my videos for a long period of time you know i always cover bar chart so if you're unfamiliar with the site barchart.com check it out it's the most active options it's an awesome site to utilize so last thing i wanted to point out before we jump off of this guys is this nice flag forming as we are con uh, con hitting that consolidation point right in here looking potentially for a breakout next week guys personally if you've made some money on this play awesome i understand as the price rises emotions are going to get even higher just remember that this is the house money that you're playing with. I would never want to tell anybody what to do. I'm not going to tell you to hold. I'm not going to tell you to sell. Personally, I am still holding, but that's that's for me. However, just keep it in your mind when you see some of these price swings, 10,000, 20,000, shit, even 100,000. At this point, because you've been rocking with me for so long and because you took and understood what I was talking about and what a lot of other YouTubers are talking about, about their conviction with AMC by basically looking at everything going on behind the scenes. You are very, 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 very far in the money right now and be prepared for some dips to happen. Just remember this too, guys. We got another weekend to tell all of our friends and family about what is going on. My grandmother even picked up and was like, maybe I need to call my brokerage and, and buy some AMC stock. A part of it is to support me, but she watches all my videos. So if you're watching this, shout out to you, Graham. I love you very much. Guys, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. We'll see you in the next one.